Hi, welcome to Emil Eström and Squidmore Miniatures. Just a few days ago, I read a message on Facebook in a group with a guy who had some skeleton bits that he wanted to give away. So I wrote him, I'll take your skeletons. I went to the guy to pick up the stuff and... This is more than just a couple of skeletons, to be honest. <laughs> I ended up leaving the guy's apartment with one giant box of just mixed miniatures. This is a box with, I think it's mainly Tomb Kings, and here's a plastic bag with 40k stuff. I haven't looked through the boxes yet, I thought I'd share with you my experience finding out what's inside all of these boxes. So guys, these are three pretty pretty badass boxes. A mix of just random miniatures and this huge Tomb King box. I think this is one of the battle boxes that they did for Warhammer Fantasy. It's like a complete army. Let's find out together and yeah. And guys, these are some, some old models as well. Like half of these, I probably have no idea what they are. So if there's something I get wrong or some model I don't know the name of, just leave it in the comment section down below and we'll figure it out together. So let's start with one of the big boys in here. There are some large plastic wings and orc wyvern. You know what? Let's just try to take everything out and assort it and yeah, no. Oh, this is uh, the old Forge World, Forge World Mangler, Mangler Squig. I only saw one of these, but let's see. And these are some some beastmen, some ogres, ogroids, more of these beast guys. Goblin wolf riders. Ooh, -hoo. wow! These are those. Uh, What's the name? Is it Ruglugs? <laughs> these are like the old school orcs. I just love the design of these. They look like... Uh, I don't know if you had, had a show. I don't know the English name for the show. Here in Sweden it was the, the Bambi Bears. The... Let's move on. More of these. Is this the same? This one is metal and larger. It's lacking the head, but let's see if we can find it. It looks like it's the, from the same. Let me know if you know what this guy is. Chaos Space Marine. More Chaos Space Marine. Oh, here's some guy. Like, I'm, I'm quite horrible when it comes to 40k models because I only play Age of Sigmar. So every time I get uh, 40k stuff, like, I love the models and I like painting them, but I don't know half of the names of the guys. An orc guy. This is an arrow boy, I think. Ooh, there's some Lord of the Rings in here. Circadians. More boars. Oh, here's a metallic boar. At least the guy is made of metal and uh, the boar is plastic. There's some night goblins in here as well. I've started a, a goblin army. I'm mainly focused on, on the spider riders and the trogoths. But let's see what we can find in here. This is a runt herd. Let me know if you know what this guy is. So, more boars. Here's a boar with a head made out of metal. Okay, a space marine. Ah, oh, this is, I think this is the rider for the, the rider for the Vyvern. If it sits, it fits. Space marines. More the Rudlugs, Ruglugs guys. There's quite a bit of these old orcs. This one is not from the same era. It doesn't have the same derpy face. Do you know who this guy is? Maybe you can help? This is a... This is an old gem. This is the... Chaos Ogre. Missing an arm. Let's see if we can find it in the box. I love getting these old metal miniatures. This is a dwarf banner bearer from Lord of the Rings. I 
haven't played Lord of the Rings since the year it came out from Games Workshop. I was one of these guys who played Warhammer back when I was like 11, 12, 13, and then the Lord of the Rings movie came out and Games Workshop released uh, the Lord of the Rings games, and I just, I had to buy the game. I never got into playing the game because Warhammer was my thing, but like I, I, I know quality miniatures when I see them, and, and this is one of those. Like when you when you get these loots, people giving away stuff. Uh, usually they don't give away their most prized possession. Ah, oh, wait, is this? I think this is from. Is this like a Doom Diver? There's a lot of these old goblins. What's the name? Uh, now they call them git, git mob grots, but I think it was just orcs and goblins back in the days. But these, like this one is made out of metal. This is some good stuff. The Doom Divers. Let's see what we can find in here. Oh, here we have a diver. He's missing his legs. No! But this guy. Ooh, look at this. One more of these Ruglods orcs. Lovely bastards. Seems to be fitting on the boars. 40k orc, space orcs. Goblins, goblins. <gasps> Ooh, old school squid rider. Here we have him. Look at this guy. He's riding. He's riding the wrong way. What are you doing, little buddy? Starting to get into some good stuff. Here, goblin riders for my spider riders army. There's just so much gold in here. Ruglods. Goblin, goblin. Space marine. <laughs> this is a Saurus guard with a wizard's hat. I don't know, random pile. Goblin, goblin. Tomb King's kit. I think we'll, I'll place that with the other stuff because I think we're gonna see more of the Tomb Kings later. Space Marine guy, more boars, so things are getting out of hand, maybe I'll have to zoom out here. Uh, here's another Ruglods, Space Marine, Spider Rider, Goblin, so I'm guessing most of these Goblins and Spiders are from Battle of Skull Pass, I think that's just one of the most common kits around, like everyone bought that, so there's a lot of those around. Here is one of these goblins for the spear chucker. And if I'm wrong, just don't be afraid of writing a comment down below just to remind me whenever I'm wrong so I get to know. Because as I said, I'm gonna half of these miniatures I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be wrong about, so let me know. Space Marine. There's another goblin with the spear. Space Marine guy. Oh, this is a I don't know what this is. It's a K Space Marine? Yeah. <laughs> Here's more spear guys, but this guy is made out of resin. This is not from the same kit. Space Marines, I'm just putting these in piles. Space Marine guy with... Oh, here are some Empire bits. <gasps> I see something nice. Ooh, this guy. Squigs. Squigs, squigs, I love. Like everything with goblins, that's not just like the classical night goblins. I have so much love for. Doesn't matter which year it comes from, if it's the new or the old. They just look so cute. Everyone wants goblins. <laughs> Ruglods. <laughs> oh, I think, could this be a hero? Guys, help me out with these space marine dudes. More night goblins. Let's see what we find. More spider riders. Here's another diver. This guy's cute. Oh, is this... I think this is from like Chaos Lord. On the demonic steed, could be. See if we can find the general. I think we're, we're getting close to done now, but there's still quite a lot. Still quite a lot of bits in here, but... <gasps> Ooh! 
Fine cast fanatic. What is this? <gasps> what is this? This guy looks wonderful. This is a goblin guy, but I'm not sure. Is this just like a goblin? Is it a shaman or is it a war boss? Happy with this. I need to know who he is. Yeah. Here's a metallic fanatic. So there's one in fine cast and one in metal. I love fanatics. The, the way the fanatics play now, I think it's hilarious. Here's a, this is a grot war boss, I think. Grot boss. Nice. Oh, oh, look at this paint job. This is cute. It's one of these old squigs. He looks like one of these um, frog small things before they turn into frogs. Snotling who drinks beer. Wow, this guy is nasty. This doesn't look like a snotling, does it? Maybe. You guys know where this is from? Which kit? Here's another metal guy from Lord of the Rings. Is there some champion? I think I'm done with this box now. I'm going to stand everything up and we'll see what's in there. I'll take a photo with my cell phone and you can help me guys figure out exactly what everything is. That was fun, but we're just one third in. You have to remember this. So I think I want to go into the, I want to go into the Tomb Kings box now. This I'm excited about because Tomb Kings, guys, come on, Tomb Kings. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we got some things here. Let's take this to the side. And then we have these uh, things here. This is an Ushabti. These are one of the coolest, like Tomb Kings in general, of course, is one of the coolest armies ever. People never really started buying them until they went out of print, but you can find some really cool stuff here. Like this sculpt is, and here we have, these are just regular skeleton bits. These are not Games Workshop, that's for sure. I think this is Mantic. Might be from this box. Bits to the side. More bits. This was what I thought I came for. <laughs> so you have to, like, um, can you understand how much stuff I got that I didn't think I would get? Okay. This is nasty, but let's see what's inside. Just looks like bits. Yeah, skeleton bits. Oh. 
Seriously? Dude. This is a bat. Okay, I'm just gonna... Everything that's just skeletons, I'm just gonna place them up here. Horse dude. This guy's doing some conversions. I'm guessing it's like these are maybe regular skeletons. I don't know. Skeleton horses. Hopefully I can remove like the, the metal grids from here somehow. The skeletons are made out of metal. That's so cool. Yeah, doesn't look like it. <gasps> look at this. Here we have an Ushabti. Look at this. This one's even quite well painted. Wow. Here's the first piece of gold in here. Look at this guy. So, what? What is this? Guys, I need some help here. This is metal as well, so I'm guessing both of these are some champions. Here's a zombie. Random assorted miniatures. I'll put the random stuff away. Ooh, mummy. Metal mummy. This is cool. <gasps> what? This isn't... Is this game's workshop? Let's say... Nope. Who is this? I'm sure one of you guys know who this is. This is made out of metal. Looks great. <laughs> this is old school. This is the uh, flagellant. This is Tomb King's archer. But with a hat. Wolf, wolf, wolf. <gasps> One more bat. More batsies. Let's zoom out. Maybe you can see better. More wolves. Oh, is this, is this the priest or the king? Here's a metal skeleton. I don't know if this is... Here's another one from the Lord of the Rings kit. We'll put that to the side. Here's a vampire lord. In the flagellants. <laughs> There's just so much cool stuff in here. Like, I don't even know what to do with it. More zombies. More bats. So, we're now up to three bats. Here we have the horse for the vampire guy. Nice. So that's complete. More bats. Here, what? Who is this guy? I've never seen this model before. Place him with the flagellants. And there's just more skeletons and wolves in here. Here's something cool. What's this? It's a wolf, something. He's carrying some bones in his mouth.
We're already up to 20 archers here. <laughs> Here's another one of these small guys. I got so excited about finding out what these guys are. It's for Mordheim? What? Games Workshop 2000. It's a vampires something? More metallic skeletons. What is this? This is for uh, Blood Bowl. Is it the elf team? I think it's the elf team. What? These are so old. Old hammer stuff. This is metal. I don't know what he rides, but he looks cool. And the rest in this first box is just like small skeletons, uh, random bits. <laughs> just look at this pile. This is just the horses. I don't like, let's put these to the side. And like the cool stuff here, I think it is these like metal parts, the, the bats, the ushabtis, like these, I think I th they have to be Mordheim or something like, I don't think this is Tomb Kings. It's the zombies and the skeletons. And then the fl flagellants out of metal. These random crooked guys, the, the vampires. These look smaller than the regular Warhammer stuff too, so... I think it's for something else. We have more stuff. Oh, here's a regular vampire would be in Age of Sigmar, I guess, like a vampire lord. What is this? I don't know. Do you know? Okay. I need help with this. So it looks like maybe some sphinx or something. Or is this from uh, the catapult? The flinger? So we have some arms here. And some guy... Oh, this is Kroof, but what is this? This is not the Kroof. I don't know if this is some some other hero guy. Crew. But these guys, they're from something else, aren't they? Oh wait, there's this... Uh... Could it be for this one? Some throne, and this guy is like on there? I don't know, there's, there's two of these. And two guys, so I'm guessing that's, that belongs there. And here we have some other. These are just piles of what? Is it scarabs? Look, looks like bugs. If you guys know what this is, comment down below. But this looks like this looks like a dragon or something. Sphinx? No, not the Sphinx. The Sphinx is different. But what is this? Maybe it's for the catapult as well. We have more vampire stuff. One more of these guys, the small metal skeletons. Here we have. I don't know. Okay, so I have a lot of like just random skeletons in here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is just like a mix of regular skeletons. Tomb King Skeletons and some Horse Riders but everything is just like regular skeletons and like just putting these out doesn't make any sense but I found these like random stuff in here it's one more like these two I guess are from like these two I guess are from the same skeleton pack as the other four I found and then there are these riders that I still don't know what they are. 
paddock riders. Is this just like regular horse riders? Or are they some champion or something? Let me know what they are, because I don't know. And yeah, I think that's that's it for the Tomb Kings box, but this is wow. So <laughs> this is kind of overwhelming. This is just so much stuff. Um, let me pack this up and we'll open the last, the third and the final box. See what's in there. So guys, last, let's call it bag in that box, but I'm just gonna pour this out here and let's try to figure out what we have. Okay, you can see straight away that there's some garbage in here, but... <laughs> Pens and stuff. These are old bits, just throw this away. Dices. Look at this. Ooh. These are Sisters of Battle. Sisters. I think these are sisters too. Like these. I, I'm really excited about this box because I've seen that there's a lot of Sisters of Battle bits in here. And like, I don't know a lot about Sisters of Battle, but I do know that they look freaking amazing. And all of these seem to be in metal. So, um,. Help me out. I think I might be able to build like a cool kill team or a small thousand point army or something. Um, I will need your help with this, but I'm pretty sure you can. Okay, more of these. These are some really nice stuff. I don't know how old these are, but I remember I played when I when I was a kid. Started playing Warhammer. Um, I, I got a few of these Sisters of Battles because I, I kind of wanted to get into 40k, but I never did. And they just looked so good. Like this was this and the Space Orcs was the army that I just adored so much. I might finally finally be able to do do something with them. So let's see. These are some Space Marine guys. I don't know some Hoover things. And this, there's been a lot of sand glued onto this. I don't know if it's salvageable, but if it's super glue, it's probably never coming off. If it's PVA glue, maybe. And here we have another one of these things. Oh, this is kind of different with 40k compared to Age of Sigma, but you buy these like extra bits to kit out things the way you want. And I think this is for a tank for some sisters stuff. And a dreadnought, is it? This one? Maybe? Here we have the legs for it. What is this? Is it some claw? And here we have Marine Standard Bearer. This is not for sisters though, this is for the regular Marines. There is a lot of nice stuff in here, that's for sure. I don't know what half of it is, but it looks freaking amazing. Wow. And a lot of it is unpainted, it's just primed. And the stuff that's painted looks quite okay. Like it's, it's not the most beautiful army I've seen, but it's like a good tabletop level to this. So if I want to play sometime, I'll just be able to pick it out and play. What is this? This, I don't know what it is. This is Eldar stuff. This is, <laughs> this is not, I think, could this be Orc? So it's Orc and Eldar.
Wow. Uh, so we got a, a bit of a dirt pile going on here, but let's see if we can. Sweet. Maybe someone can help me start a Sisters of Battle Force. And I'm not sure what this is, but I'm guessing it's it's like an upgrade to some tank or something. Let me know. And bits for random stuff. But guys, uh, this kit that was given to me, it's quite incredible. I just love everything that's in here. I have a full death army now if I want to play Tomb Kings or Zombies or whatever. I have Sisters of Battle stuff. I have no idea how many points these are, but I'm guessing at least I can build a small battle force or a skirmish game army. If you like this type of videos, there are plenty of more hobby videos and Warhammer videos on my channel. I post new videos every week, so just subscribe if you want to see more. And I think this is it for today. Just uh, see you next time. Bye.